All right, guys, this is a quick review of the PQ9907S digital chest timer. Um, I'm going to use it for a backgammon, obviously, but um, yeah, just received it today, so I'm just going to, I already unwrapped it, so, um, but here it is. And it's really nice and small. It actually fits into the board, which is a real, really nice detail. You can see how, see how thin it is. But yeah, let me just uh, move this around here. So um, I already preset it, so I'm just gonna turn, you have the on off button down here. I'm just gonna flip that switch. There you go. So you can see I've preset it for a 17 point match. Um, yeah, nothing not much to it. I mean, this is the pause button here and pressing that. We have the uh, delay starting to count down here. Press here, we got the delay for the other players and you know back and forth um, it's really easy to set up actually you just um, when you just turn it on when you just bought it obviously it's just gonna be like zero on the displays but then you just press and hold the center button uh, I can just show you real quick just pressing and holding it and then you'll see the zero starting to flash this is the amount of hours and then if you want to move on to the next step here, just press the middle button once real quick. And then you can press plus to increase the number or minus to decrease the number. And to okay that, you just press this middle button again real quick. And like that, you can just cycle through the different numbers real quick like that. And this is the seconds. And once you move on to the next one. It actually has a really nice detail of whatever you put in here. When you move on to this next window, it will just quickly duplicate that. So you don't have to type in those numbers again. That's a really nice touch. You can set it up real quick. So I'm pressing this one again, moving over here. So once you're heavy and you're reaching the end here, when you click the center button once more, you'll take it to the, um, what's that? Yeah, that's the delay. So. I'll just make that delay here. And the next thing we have here is, I think it's, you can toggle the audio on and off. So one would be on and zero would be off. So let's move it on here. And pressing it again, we'll just take it back to the beginning. And to accept the whole thing, you just press and hold until it stops flashing. And there you go. And we're all set. Starting down. There you go. And what I really like about this is the uh, the physical button because I have another timer which is just like touch sensitive, so it doesn't really make any sound. But this is really it's got a really nice sound to it. Back and forth. All right. I'm just gonna set it down here so you can see. Um, like that. Obviously, I'll just, just for the sake of you being able to see the digits, I'm just going to turn it towards the light here. So, yeah. Nice. And to turn it off, you just flip that switch here. And yeah, it comes with an, uh, with an AA battery. Just a single one, so uh, and it should last a while, I think. So yeah, I've tried it before at a friend's house, and you know, I can I can totally recommend it. It's a really really nice and compact clock timer for backgammon or chess or whatever board game you want to you know time. <laughs> All right, and yeah, in the background here we got the the uh, take point scoreboard, which is available for purchase, www.takepoint.pro. Get yours today. All right.